Hello everyone, this is Inma and today I would like to give you some tricks to create a watercolor effect. Before we get started, I just wanted to tell you that on the video description you will find a link to this tutorial from the Clip Studio Paint website, which is the one that inspired me to learn this technique. And you will also find a link to the brushes and the textures that I'm using on this tutorial. We will start by inking our drawing. To ink, I'm using a brush that has um, like a pencil feeling to it because if we are going to color in watercolor style, it's best if you don't use brushes like G pen or Maru pen, uh, mapping pen, and so on. Uh, this one, I think it was called Magi pen, but in any case, I will leave the link in the video description for you to download it as well. The next thing that we are going to do is to apply base color. I like to start painting with green because it is a color that is easy for me to see if I'm leaving some blank uh, dots and such. But use whatever technique you want. Uh, so for now we are coloring this as though it was some normal illustration, not watercolor. And later on I will tell you what to do about these layers. Make sure that each element is on a different layer and when there's one element that has different colors like uh, for example the coat, just uh, put each different color on a different layer on top of it with the clip to layer below icon selected. Now that I have all base color done, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna go one by one uh, hiding all the layers except for the first one, which in this case is the hair. Then I'm gonna uh, pick up the color that I used and I'm gonna select white on the other color and I'm gonna change the color to drawing in the edit menu so that the layer is turned to white. Then I create a new layer on top, I click on the uh, clip to layer below icon and here I am going to select one of my watercolor brushes and I'm going to paint using the color that I picked. And now I'm gonna do the same for the rest of the layers. Make sure that each color that you have on the illustration has a layer with white right under the layer where you are coloring with watercolor. This is because watercolor brushes um, have transparency and if you don't have a white layer underneath then it's possible that um, the colors will mix and maybe that's not the effect that I wanted to create. Now that I have all base colors properly done with watercolor style, what I'm gonna do is to go to each element and create a new layer on top with the clip to layer below icon. I'm gonna set it to multiply and then for the main color I'm gonna choose the color that I want to use to uh, shade and for the secondary color I'm choosing purple because I like the mixture. Then I'm gonna choose one of the watercolor uh, brushes, but uh, you have to choose the ones that take into account both uh, primary and secondary color. Because uh, some of these brushes only take into account the primary color. So now I'm shading the hair and the color that, um, the resulting color is a mixture between the two which is uh, something I like, that's why I choose uh, purple as a secondary, but you can try different uh, styles if you want.
What I do next is to create a new layer on top of uh, the previous one and I set it to multiply again with the clip to layer below icon selected and now I select the secondary color which is purple and using the same brush that I used for the base color I paint over the whole area and then I, uh, I go to the layer menu and to layer mask and I mask outside um, for this layer this will hide the whole thing but it's only hidden it's not erased so uh, when I paint over it with um, my watercolor brushes or soft pencil it's going to appear and this is done to uh, give more depth to the illustration to give extra detail to the shading Next, I will use the same technique for the rest of the layers on the illustration. Just remember, it's two very easy steps. The first one is to create a multiply layer where I'm gonna apply shadows with the main color, which is the one that, uh, whatever color you decide for shading, and the secondary color should be a cold one if the main color is uh, warm and the second layer I create is another one a multiply mode but on this one I only color with the cold color which in this case is uh, purple and I paint over the whole layer then I hide it with the masking layer and then I paint on top of it again with either watercolor brushes or some pencil that uh, gives a soft effect that doesn't stand out too much. I'm gonna give this a very simple background that matches the uh, feeling of the illustration. So I'm just picking up a texture and I'm editing it with different options. With the um, correction layer options, you can play with that and you will always keep the original layer without uh, losing the original uh, characteristics. Just play around with the different options. Then I'm adding a watercolor texture that came with the brushes that I downloaded. And all you have to do is to play with it again and see what looks best for your illustration. Just change uh, the opacity and change the layer mode if you want to make it overlay or whatever you feel that fits and to finish the illustration what I like to do is to go to the layer menu and create a new correction layer on top of all the layers on the illustration this is to edit the colors a bit uh, you can edit uh, the darkness and such 
I also like to add um, some layer on top to paint white lines over the line art with the same brush that I used to ink. This gives a nice effect in my opinion. So this is it for now. I hope that you liked this tutorial. If you did, uh, then please uh, give me thumbs up if you like. And you can also check my other social media and such at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!